Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today do we have a treat for you. A brand new ship has been spotted testing out on the high seas, and we have footage of it. We are talking about the brand new Tier 7 Pan-European Destroyer, Jaeger. Um, first, I got alerted to this because it started kind of popping up on the Reddit Thank you to user Shinken Chaotic for this little screenshot, confirming that it is, in fact, a tier seven over on this game. And you may be saying, Tommy, what is a Jaeger? Well, it's, I believe it's Hunter in German, if I recall Pacific Rim correctly. But what, what is what is it in this game? Well, we have the Friesland right now, and I want you to picture the exact opposite ship of a Friesland. Friesland, no, known for its stellar gunfire performance and certain lack of torpedoes. Jaeger, kind of the exact opposite. First, its main battery, not very much. Three one-barreled 150 millimeter guns. The 150 is nice, but uh, we're not looking at exactly a rapid fire boat with those uh, 150s. I believe the reload speed that I was able to calculate off the footage we are in the neighborhood of like a four second reload. So not very impressive there. But what is impressive is its torpedoes. Four three-barreled launchers uh, that reload incredibly quickly that fire pan-European destroyer torps. So not only are those torpedoes reloaded quickly, they are very fast in the water and have decent range. The trade-off for all this is of course how hard they hit, which is relatively low. Other, I would say, low lights of Jaeger is it's very much, because it doesn't have very many uh, surface guns, uh, it's lack of AA. Oh, and it doesn't have a smoke screen. That's right, over on the PC version, it doesn't have a smoke screen. So if you get spotted, uh, that's kind of it. It is going to be the ultimate gambling torpedo boat because if, if you get spotted, th there's not much you can do. You can run. You do have very good concealment for all this, but we just just be aware and be wary when this boat comes out that uh, it will be an interesting one. And it's one that I've kind of looked forward to. I think uh, sometime this year I was looking over and I mentioned in a video some premiums I'd like to see. And Jaeger was on that list. So I am very excited to see it come to the game. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the footage of this thing sailing on through. Big shout out to Golden Eclipse. Uh, I'll link his Twitch channel down below. He provided this footage to me. Uh, one little warning, uh, the way he recorded it, it is, I believe, straight off of his Xbox, which converts it to a WebPM file, and he's also an HDR. And when you do all that and then import it into an SDR and then compress it and flip it over to MP4, it locks in the HDR. And because I don't record an HDR because it becomes a hassle to handle with editing and getting it graded correctly to then bring to YouTube, which has a mixed record with HDR. Long story short, because of the way the file is, it's going to look incredibly, incredibly washed out. That is just the way it is. I've tried to fix it. I can't. Apologies. But let's go ahead and take a look. So here we are on North and there is the Jaeger sporting what I presume will be its premium or exclusive camouflage that comes with the vessel. One thing to note, it is a bit different than I believe over on PC. I think they had an event going on at the same time and oh my goodness, did that camo look incredible. Um, I believe we're gonna see just after he fires this, we should see a little bit more of the Jaeger and specifically it firing and it trying to fight off a Hayate. And there he is and there's the Hayate. And there we go, there are the guns. And you can see, um, you know, it's taking, what is that? Maybe, maybe a thousand, maybe 1200 damage per hit is what it's pulling off of the Hayate. Front gun just fired for the first time, or cycled, so that's about a four second reload on it. Uh, so DPM not going to be impressive, but we can see all of those torpedoes coming for it. And uh, well, this is going to be the end of the footage and that's the Jaeger. Like I said, uh, we know it's going to be a torp boat, and I think it will be an interesting one because it is going to be 
a much higher skill torp boat than even the Japanese torp boats. I think this thing could become a menace. The one thing that will kind of prevent that is the fact that, of course, uh, we do seem to have more and more carriers up at tier seven, and this thing will not be able to hide from them. Uh, carriers will be able to loiter loiter over it without any without any worry. It won't be able be able to use a smoke to disappear. So carriers are going to be the very hard counter for this because presumably uh, this thing is probably going to be the stealthiest thing at tier seven. But if you know how to counter it, if you know how to play it. It, it'll be interesting. Those the carrier games with it, games without a carrier in it may be rough, especially if it is a good destroyer captain and they have a good head about them. But I think their impact as far as against other destroyers is going to be incredibly limited unless they get you in that little golden range of being spotting you without them spotting back. But we will just kind of have to wait and see on that. Overall, make me excited. I'm I'm going to assume this is going to be the campaign ship coming up. We haven't had a destroyer campaign. We had Z44, but I, I this this feels this feels campaigny, if, if you know what I mean. I, I don't think I don't think we'll be seeing it as a standalone premium. But you know, I'm always up to being wrong. That's one of the beauties of life. It's okay if you're wrong. Anyways, oh one more thing. The great folks over at Wargaming, since I'm a CC, have given me the honor, the pleasure, whatever it is, of providing me a bunch of Santa codes and crates to give away. What I'm planning on doing that is doing it over on the on a live stream, probably this Friday. So uh, if you want to be alerted to when I go live, I'll make a like a scheduled event for it so you can kind of mark it down. But if you would like to join and you don't want to miss it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell. Right now, my channel is sitting at like 60% of you aren't subscribed who are watching the videos. So uh, if, if you would do me the honor, hit that little subscribe button. And uh, if you liked this video, do the thing I just said and have a great rest of your day. See ya.